Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I thought I should share with you guys my experience using the Logitech G305 mouse. It's been more than six months now since I switched over from the MX Master, the famous MX Master. So yeah, let's dive right in. Okay guys, here's my G305 in white, though it comes in more than white, you can get it in lilac, in mint, in blue, in black, and I guess one other color which is really like a design that I've seen on their website. And here is the MX Master, the original MX Master that I used for more than 2, 3, 4 years. And it was fantastic, but as you've seen on the subject of this video, I had to switch over to the G305. And before I give you my reasons, let's do a quick rundown of the technical specs and the features of these two mice. First, it's important to note that my use case is more of productivity than gaming, though the G305 is actually marketed as a gaming mouse. And the MX Master, and by the way, this is the original MX Master, but you can now get the MX Master 3 or 3S. But the bottom line is the fact that the MX Masters are marketed as productivity mice. They are not really for gaming, and we'll find out why. That said, I actually still use my G305 for productivity. So the question is, is the G305 actually that good that I'd really pick it over the MX series for productivity? And that's like video editing and so many other applications that you might want to use your PC for or even a Mac. So now let's actually do a quick rundown of their differences in specifications. Now, first in as far as the physical specs are concerned, I've already mentioned that the G305 is more or less targeted for gaming and as you'd expect, it's much lighter than the MX Master. It weighs in at 99 grams, which I know is probably not as light as modern gamers would want. They want like 60 grams or so. But really, to be fair, 99 grams is actually quite light, especially compared to the MX Master that actually comes in at 140 plus grams. Next, if we take a walk around the miles, you'll notice that the G305 actually comes in a more traditional shape. It doesn't come in this ergonomic shape that the MX series boasts of. And taking a look at the buttons, you'll see that we have the left and the right click buttons, the scroll wheel, which is also the middle click button, and we have a DPI button right over here. And talking about the DPI, this G305 actually goes from 200 to 12,000, while the MX Master actually does 400 to 1600. So the G305 actually goes much further in as far as the top range of the DPI scale is concerned. So you can move that pointer much faster, but really most times, most days actually just have one DPI setting that they run, and so the 12,000 DPI of the G305 really is not a big deal in as far as my usage personally is concerned. At the bottom right here, you can see that the G305 has four feet, they are made of PTFE and the sensor in the middle, is actually what Logitech calls a hero sensor. It's quite good in as far as tracking is concerned. And we also have an on off button right over here at the bottom. And on the side here, you can see that the forward and the back buttons are right there. Nothing else around the mouse apart from the Logitech branding. So it's quite a simple mouse really. On the other hand, the MX Master actually comes with much more as expected. This is a productivity mouse and it tends to have all those other bells and whistles. An example is you can see on the back here, there's actually a button which is labeled one, two, three, that actually gives you three different profiles that you could set, connect the mouse to three different computers if you'd wish. And that's actually just one of the many features that the MX line of mice actually come with. There's also a thumb button right over here where your thumb rests and Using the Logitech option software, you can customize it and set it to one of many options that the software allows you to. Apart from the forward and the back buttons on the side here, there's also a scroll wheel that you can set for horizontal scrolling or any other setting that you can choose from the options that the software allows you to. But the rest of the buttons on here are similar to what you get with the G305. So that said, this being wireless mice, it's important to talk about two things. First is battery life because they do use batteries. And second is the connectivity options that they support. Now for the G305, the battery actually rests and resides inside the mouse as you can see, and it's actually an AA battery. And Logitech actually says that this would last you at least 250 hours for gaming and nine months, uh, hooping nine months for standard productivity work. And so as you'd expect in my about six to seven months of owning this mouse, I've really not 
change the battery. And that's one of the places that I think the G305 actually beats out the MX Master series because the MX Master series have their batteries built in and you have to charge them every once in a while. For this OG MX Master, the port was actually a micro USB port, but I guess the more recent MX Masters have a type C, if I'm not wrong. In as much as it would last quite a while, every now and then, probably every month, you just get a notification that you know you need to charge it. And sometimes I just don't want to have a cable dangling from the mouse. So I just like the fact that for the G305, probably after six months, you just pop off the AA battery and replace it with another one and you're good to go. Next, let's talk about the connectivity. So both the MX Master and the G305 come with this kind of a USB dongle, a receiver that you're supposed to plug into a USB port on your PC or your Mac, and the mouse will automatically connect to your computer. It uses a 2.4 gigahertz wireless protocol. And as long as the receiver is near the mouse, I haven't experienced a lot of drop-offs in the connectivity. The connection is quite solid. The MX Master also offers you an option to connect via Bluetooth, but I just felt like Bluetooth was kind of finicky. Sometimes the connection would kind of drop off, especially when using a port on the back of the PC. And so I recommend that you guys just use the wireless receiver. It's much more convenient. That said, Logitech claims that the connection is good for up to 10 meters, but I'd recommend that you have your receiver as close as possible to the mouse. Now, I had an option of upgrading from this original MX Master to maybe the MX Master 2 or 3, but he decided to kind of downgrade to the G305. Why is that? First, okay, definitely the colors, you know. I really wanted to go for a white setup and the MX Master line of mice offers some kind of grayish mouse that is not really pure white. And uh, second, there's all this productivity vibe around the MX Master line, you know, all these buttons here and there, ergonomic shape. But in my case, and I'm sure this applies to probably more than half of the MX Master owners out there, you might not really be using all those productivity features. Like the thumb button, I rarely used it. The horizontal scroll wheel in as much as once in a while, it's nice to have. I didn't really feel like I used it that much to really, really need it in a mouse. I just felt like in a mouse, I want something that just works. <laughs> Most of the customization options that the mouse offers, I still get on my keyboard, be it shortcuts for editing in my video editing software or doing so many other tasks on Windows. I feel like many of us do not actually need a mouse with a hundred buttons to be productive. In fact, it's a mental task, I believe, to remember all the options there are on a mouse. So I believe that sometimes your productivity might actually get a boost by simplicity. And again, if you'd also want to do some gaming once in a while, the G305 is ready to go. This is quite a well-acclaimed gaming mouse over several years. And finally is the price for the MX Master range of mice you are going to have to shove not less than $100 even for this original one. You'd probably once in a while get them for about $75 in the renewed or refurbished option. But for a new MX Master 3, you're gonna have a hard time getting it for less than $100. But this G305 comes in at only $40 right now. Yeah, $40 and actually got it for just 30 because I did purchase it during last year's Black Friday. So for just about $40, you get quite a solid mouse that will perform quite well, last quite a long time and probably make over 90% of you guys out there quite happy. And so when my MX Master started showing its age, I switched over to the G305 and those are my reasons. Thanks guys for watching. If you'd like to see more of such videos, I suggest that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you do not miss when I upload another video. See you in the next one. As always, no pressure.